Hi and welcome to Fluff Up. On this video I am making chopper from one piece. As always the first step is making a frame. This time I made it out of brass crafting wire. Because chopper's design is very heavy on top, I twisted two wires together to make the frame stronger and heavier. Once I had the frame shaped, I then covered the wire with floral tape. I split the tape in half so that it lays flat against the wire. Once I had the frame ready, I started adding the first layers of wool. I use white wool to bulk up the body before I start adding layers of wool in the color that matches his fur. The floral tape is really useful for the thin areas because the wool sticks to it and doesn't shift as much while I try to felt around the wire. I felt the main structure of the antlers with brown wool but didn't shape the smaller pieces just yet. I did that so they would be easier to felt away from the body. I started covering the hooves with brown wool, but then realized they were supposed to be black, so I switched to black wool and shaped his hands and feet. For the rest of the antlers, I cut smaller pieces of wire and covered them in tape and then wool. I put all the pieces of the antlers together and then covered the remaining wire with more wool. Once I was happy with the antlers, I used red wool to shape his pants. And then I got to work on Chopper's red hat. Because he has to go over the antlers, I had to make it in stages. So I started with the two halves of the brim, making it very thick, just like it looks like in the show. Then I made the two sides of the hat, taking a long time to shape the cross in the front. Because I had to be careful not to pull up any red wool from the back so I had to angle the needle and not stab straight down. Once I had those done, I made a little circle for the top of his top hat. I then started felting the hat together, but leaving the bottom open to fit over his antlers. I made vague shapes for the snout and the mouth, so that I could plan the eyes better. I then pushed in some of the wool to make space for the eyes. I used small amounts of white wool so that I could control the shape of the eyes better. And then moved on to black wool for the pupils. Once I was happy with the size and shape of the pupils, I moved on to outlining his eyes. For small details, I like to twist the wool in my fingers so that the fibers tangle and they are easier to control with the needle. The wool around his face wasn't felted too tightly, so it was easy to shape his mouth and then add the snout. I outlined his smile and then got blue wool to make his blue nose. I added the final details to his hooves and fixed any odd spots. I also added the metal patch on his antler and then made little spheres to add as the rivets.
I shaped his ears away from his head and then carefully attached them right under his antlers. But before I was fully done with the project, I decided to give him some cotton candy. I used a wooden coffee stirrer and glued some pink wool that I can use as a base to felt more wool around it. And finally, Chopper got his hat! And there is my needle felted version of Tony Tony Chopper. Thank you so much for watching! Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more needle felted projects.